O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The saints who toiled from place to place, Spreading the gospel of God's grace. Now in their heavenly homeland dwell, With Christ whom here they serve so well. Alert at thy command to go, And everywhere thy word to sow. They went, O Master, far and wide, Eager but yet unsatisfied. Thine was the task they took in hand, Thine their good news for every land, Thine was their power and thine again, Their passion for the souls of men. And wonderful is this knowledge of yours, that you have showed me, Lord. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk, I lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand never laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge. Too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn, and dwell at the seas where they stand. Even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, the night is as clear as the day. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me, Lord, I am the Lord, who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. It was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret, and moulded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions, there were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed, 
before one of them came into being. To me a mysterious your thoughts, but some of them not to be numbered. If I count them they are more than the sand, to finish I must be eternal like you. Oh, search me, God, and know my heart. Oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I fall on the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself, and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And with you, I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you, which over it not simply is a duty, but gladly, because God wants it. Not for sordid money, but because you are eager to, eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He has laid down his life for his brothers. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. This is the faithful and wise steward whom the master placed over his household to give them their measure of food at the proper time. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. 
and those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. This is the faithful and wise steward, whom the Master placed over his household, to give them their measure of food at the proper time. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent men in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed, for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you filled Pope St. Pius with wisdom and gave him the strength of an apostle to defend the Catholic faith and to renew all things in Christ. Grant that we may follow his example and teaching and so come to our reward in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.